Hey, what's up, guys? It's Chris. I have a review today for you guys. It is of the Berlinwood New Mold 2009, made by Elias Asmith in Germany. You can check this product out at BlackRiverDashRams.com and FlatBaseFingerboards.com. I'll put both of those in the description over there. Oh yeah, guys, remember to watch in HD because that's why I'm editing with my. That's why I'm recording with my flip. All right, so let's get to the board. This board was. 24.95 euros approximately. I'm not completely sure, and um, rounds up to about 35 US dollars, which is about 40 dollars with shipping on Black River because it's never available on Flatface. Um, if you're looking for a graphic deck, they're available on Flatface very often, so you should check those out. And um, yeah, all right, so. Oh yeah, and if you want a graphic deck, I'm pretty sure if you buy it off Flatface, because Flatface has graphic decks very often, it is um $52, which is not that great of a deal, considering that the graphic wears off, which is pretty cool to me, but I wouldn't pay that much for a graphic. I wouldn't pay like um, $17 more dollars for a graphic. Alright, so let's get to... Oh yeah, shipping took 8 days, but yeah, let's get to the board finally. Alright, so this board is 5 plies. It's probably not going to focus, but um, it's my flip. Yeah, but it's 5 plies. You can't see my plies too well, because my plies are uh, regular to yellow to regular to yellow to regular. And um, yeah, um, up here is the Berlinwood logo. It's stamped on right there and down here is Elias Asmith's Elias the Elias Asmith signature and um yeah it's pretty cool I like how they do it with a uh, stamp and stuff it um one of the effects of it is uh that it wears off yeah all right so the lacquer on the deck wasn't that great um it's kind of shiny but yeah I sanded it off a bit because um I had different lacquer on there but it wasn't working too well because I had to do a bunch of uh, changes to my deck and the lacquer wasn't working too great so yeah my lacquer is a bit thick and um so what I did was I just scraped all the lacquer off which which doesn't make the board that bad because the feel of the board it's kind of cool. You can feel like the wood grain, but um, yeah. All right, so the shape of the deck is it's 29 millimeters long, which is not extra wide, but con it's considered wide. You can see that. Um, I'll compare it to my close up. My close up. It looks really cool now because I sanded it down. I put an FBS sticker, and I sanded down the plies, so that looks pretty cool. I'll sell this to you guys if you want. Just um, PM me, not in the comments. But the thing, only thing is, the top ply is like has like glue marks on it. But yeah, I'll sell it for real cheap, like maybe fifteen, twenty. But yeah, cause cause it's still a good board, and uh, I'll just fi finish it out for you guys. But yeah, it's not a definite, but just PM me with offers. Right, so yeah, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna compare the size to you guys for you guys. Look at that! Look at that! A lot more space right there. And um. Yeah, so 29 millimeters. It is. It has medium to high kicks. Not. I love how it's not too high, so you can get enough uh, flick. For your tricks. And uh, and uh, yeah, it's another cool thing about the shape is the nose is higher than the tail, and what marks the tail is. I mean, oh, take. I take that back. The tail is higher than the nose, which makes pop, which gives better pop and smoother flick on the deck. Like, um, you can see here, higher pop and higher flick, because this is lower. You can, it's not like a drastic thing that you can see, but you can kind of see it. Alright, and, um, yeah, I, saw, I thought that was pretty cool. And the Berlinwood logo marks your tail. Which is something else that's really cool. And, um, this deck, 
I have no tr problem getting the the screws in. They fit in perfectly. They were drilled in perfectly. All countersunk and everything. Um. Yeah, there is not much to talk about badly about the shape. The shape was just um really good shape. Um. Well, yeah, you're gonna expect that when you're buying a Black River. I mean, a Berlin wood product. Um, and yeah, just the shape is perfect. Like, you can't, they can't really change anything. What, um, what they did change from the old Berlin is, now this board has a concave on it. Good old concave. Like, uh, I don't know if I can show you. Alright, but, um, it's not like a drastic concave, but it's, it's, it's a lot different from, um, what it used to be like it it used to be a really flat board but um yeah I like the cocky it feels good on your fingers well you can't even see that because the lighting's too bright but yeah there there's a good decent old concave in there not like drastic but yeah it's all good yeah but I'd say that's it for shape it's just an overall the craftsmanship is 10 out of 10. You can't really improve this. Maybe a little bit more lacquer. But, yeah. Not for the graphic decks. I'll just put lacquer on these. And not lacquer on the graphic decks. That's what I think. But, yeah. And I like how this board is like. Like sanded inwards. Like it's, it's not sanded up here. Like up here. It's not rounded up here. But it's rounded down here. Which I thought was pretty cool gives it that like smooth look like on a real skateboard like a real skateboard isn't like boxy it's not like it's like my close-up it's like smooth but yeah um yeah so let's finally get to performance check the time on this video all right so performance this deck is just amazing so much pop like i can't I can't even like explain how much pop I have on here. And like I thought I thought my close up was good, but like I can't even use my close up anymore. One because it's a really thin board and I can't control this board that well anymore. Cause it's so thin. and um and um uh, I I just like I love how uh, wide the board is because it makes it so I have better control. There's an e there's a bigger space for me to catch the board. So yeah. Yeah, but there's not much to say about the performance. It just it's ten out of ten performance. Like this is um this is a great board to just like that you'll never like get problems with. It'll just be like a board like like a board that would get a lot of problems, I guess, would be like a flat face. I heard those break very easily, but yeah, yeah that's all I heard. Yeah, this is a very strong board, no wiggle on it or anything. It's just a reliable board, and I would give this board a 20 out of 10. <laughs> Alright guys, um, that's basically it. I'm running out of time, because YouTube is gay, and it won't let you make 10 minute videos. Uh -huh. I'll catch you guys later. And yeah. Oh yeah, I'll have, be having a Winkler wheel review very soon, so yeah, look out for that. Peace.